Okay, here's the 1970 Cub Cadet 127. And uh, let's go ahead and just uh, start around, walking around. I'm going to pan into the engine. Uh, this is a K301A by Kohler. It is a, I believe, a 12 horse uh, Kohler motor. You can see that there's coil, uh, we've got points, and a condenser. Um, and what I've got here, to pan around so you can see the uh, dash panel. And on the top left, you got the choke. And on the far right, you have a lift button. And then this is the um, the engage, the forward and reverse drive steering wheel. And then you have the uh, throttle, you know, fast and slow. Down here, we have the key ignition start. Um, this unit right here is the electric lift. Um, it actually connects to a rock shaft, which uh, lifts up the, f the mower deck, as well as you know, there's a rear lift extension. So if you wanted to put a, a lift on the back, you can uh, lift up rototillers and other attachments. Um, go to the front. Okay, so right now, um, the the battery in uh, this cub is dead, and so that's going to need to be uh, replaced or traded out. So I'm jumping uh, with a deep cell right here. Um, and here's the, the starter generator. And I'm going to walk around the front. And this is the PTO clutch right here. And I think there's a, a problem with the PTO. It, it clanks a little bit. They all clank a bit, but um, right now, if I if I select this lever and move it back and forth, that actuates the PTO. And you can see the lever. Uh, see if I can find it right here. You can see the lever moving forward and in and out. Um, so the clutch is supposed to be disengaged in this position and then engaged in this position, as you can see. Um, I went ahead and underneath the tractor, you can see the mower deck. I went ahead and I lubricated the uh, Zerk fittings. There's one on each spindle and each spindle seems to turn free. As you can see, um, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna see if I can reach in the belt here. See, it turns freely if I rotate the belt. Um, and then I also attached this frame. It's kind of like a little scissors frame and allows the lift to lift the deck up and down. In the front, I call this the mule. Let's see if I can get These two gears right here uh, take the belt off the PTO and then tension. There's a spring unit right here that tensions the belt, but uh, they were a little bit tight. I lubricated them. You see it spins free, so it looks like the bearings uh, freed up in that. Um, seems to be running pretty good. I went ahead and uh, also lubricated the steering um, right here, these, these spindles, the left and right. And uh, as you can see over here, see a little grease is coming out. That means there's good grease in it and the old grease is coming out. It's not dry which is a good thing. Okay, now let's go ahead and, and start it up. Okay, so I'm gonna go and turn the ignition key. bit of noise with that PTO. I'm going to actuate the, the lift. Let's go ahead and look down here. It's the electric lift. And up here you can see
the mower deck going up and down. RPM up. You can hear that PTO. But the engine starts up really nice. I'm going to move it forward. Goes forward. Also goes in reverse. Turn it off. Let me see, there's a little crack in the seat. Um, being 70 years old, not 70 years old, but 40 years old, 42 to be exact, um, you can see that. Down here um, is a storage location under the seat, and I've got a diagram, or not a diagram, but a, a little cover. This cover goes in the back and covers the, the shaft, and so that can be remounted at any time. And that is included with the tractor. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. And uh, it's going to run a tractor.